The first thing that you need to add is some bedding. You need at least 10 inches of safe bedding. That includes spruce, aspen, unscented, paper based and hemp bedding. Make sure you compress it so it can properly hold burrows. Then I decided to add a watch box at the front of the cage but this is just optional. Then I added the wheel, make sure it's at least 11 inches for a Syrian and 8 inches for a dwarf and that is on a platform. Then I was just digging down to find the platform so I could place a glass dish on and then later I just add another substrate into this dish. I made sure that the bedding went all the way to the edge of this and then compressed it down. Then I added the mortar chamber hideout, these are amazing because they replicate the hamster's burrows and also make sure that they're on stilts so it can't fall into the bedding. And then on top of another platform I added a digging dish. Then on top of the bedding I sprinkled some soft hay. This is amazing because it looks really natural and it also provides another texture for your hamster to explore. At this point I started to add the coconut soil into the glass dish. And I put the sand bath on top of the mortar chamber hideout so it's supported by the stilts. Then I started to add all of the natural accessories so I added three cock clogs to the enclosure. They provide a great texture for your hamster to explore and they also look really natural in the enclosure. In the sand bath I just added a piece of bamboo root. I added a tunnel so the hamster could easily get from the top of the bedding to the mortar chamber hideout entrance. And then this is just a terracotta tunnel. This is a terracotta hideout. This is what the enclosure looks like at the moment. All I've got to add is some sprays and some forage mixes. This is what it looks like with all the sprays. You don't have to add as many as I did, but it's great if you can provide that. So here I'm just sprinkling some dried apple leaves around the enclosure. And this is just a mix of different dried flowers. And this is the finished result.